This is the financial freedom calculator. First, we start with your expenses and you input all of these numbers. You can change all these numbers. And we have as many categories as we could possibly think of to cover somebody's life, including the vices and the things that nobody wants to talk about. And whatever the total is, that's going to be your current cost of living. And so that number is going to go into the monthly expenses section and you'll get to see what your total annual expenses will be as well. And on the income side, we have your input, which is going to be the net monthly income. And for business people, this is what you take after all of your costs. Obviously, you should know what net means. For corporate people, this is essentially after all the deductions from your check, whatever that final number is that goes into your bank account. And once you have that number, this calculates for you your discretionary income. And in this situation, this person is in the negative. And then the monthly freedom number calculation is done for your monthly expenses. So whatever your monthly expenses are, your current lifestyles cost, it's gonna put 30% on top of that and that's gonna be your monthly freedom number. Which then brings us to the conversation of adjusting for the discretionary and then solving for monthly income. How does somebody get a freedom number income without having to work and this is the conversation of passive income and where all of that comes in. So the first thing is why are we looking at a negative discretionary and how is this even possible?